Air. Space has three dimensions. Length, breadth and height. All points in space have three dimensions. Space is the womb with which the universal particles evolve. Space is filled with quantum fields and it's teeming with energy. The quantum fields filled with energy pops out particles and antiparticles. So, in this empty space, energy manifests in quantum fields and keep popping out and annihilating particles and antiparticles. There are two types of particles, virtual and real. Virtual are like the embryos that don't get attached to the womb and get destroyed. Real particles are like the fetus that get attached to the womb, derive the energy and evolve further. In Hinduism, this space womb is called as Hiranyagarbha. He is a god of creation. His three faces are visible and the fourth one is invisible. What if I say the space we live in is indeed made up of four dimensions with three dimensions that are visible and the fourth one is invisible like this Hiranyagarbha. Let this be a two dimensional space. Let the coin be a two dimensional being. Now the coin, now let me move the coin. The coin perceives motion because of a change in the x and y coordinates. Now I lift the coin. The coin is now moving in the third dimension. But the coin does not perceive any spatial movement because its x and y coordinates are not changing. When a two dimensional object in a two dimensional space moves up or down in the third dimension, then that motion is not perceived spatially. The third dimension in the coin example, the fourth dimension in our real life is what we perceive as time. You can say that a particle perceives time because of its motion in the fourth dimension. Different particles move at different velocities in this dimension and hence the time lapse for each and every particle changes. So time is not universal. It changes for each and every particle depending upon its motion in the fourth dimension. When a three dimensional object stops its motion in the fourth dimension, then the time for the particle stops. Which means that the past, present and the future are all the same for the particle. Is there any particle like that? Yes, photons. Photons which can travel up to the velocity of 3 to 10 power 8 meter per second in the three dimensional space will have its motion zero in the fourth dimension. This means that for the photon, there is no time. We can conclude that time is actually dependent on the velocity with which a particle travels in the three dimensional space. You can see the coin here and the coin there pressing the two dimensional space. Larger coin presses the space more, smaller coin presses the space less. The warping of space by objects tends to bring them closer and is called as gravity. Since time is also the fourth dimensional space, the fourth dimension is also warped more by more energetic or more massive objects and lesser by lighter ones. Thus, time depends on gravity. Summarizing, time is not universal. Time is dependent on velocity and time is dependent on gravity. Hiranyagarbha